Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can create these scale markings in PowerPoint easily. I am in the design mode, go to insert, click on chart, click on XY scatter, click OK. Let's say we want to create scale markings that go from 0 to 100 for both vertical and horizontal axis. First, let's do that for vertical axis, so double click on the vertical axis. On the right hand side, in the maximum bound, enter a value of 100, change the minor units to 1 because we want a marking for every single unit. So we want a marking for 1, 2, 3 and so on. Then twirl open this option for tick marks. Under major type drop down box, select outside and for minor type, select outside as well. Let me zoom in. We have these markings here, however they are too small right now. To increase them in size, click on the vertical axis and increase the font size to something big, say 32. Once we do that, our scale has changed. So we'll have to go back and fix it. Change the major units back to 10. Let's also make this darker. Go to shape fill, under line, select a black color. Let's make the same changes for horizontal axis. So double click on horizontal axis, change the maximum value to 100. Change the minor unit to 1, open tick marks, select major type as outside and minor type as outside as well. Increase the font size to 32, go back and fix the major units to 10, go to shape fill, change the line color to black. Next we just want the horizontal and vertical axis so delete all the other elements, disable chart title, grid lines. We can keep these dots for now. Next, copy this chart, Control C, go on to a new slide. From this left hand corner, select the option called Paste Special and select the second option called Picture SVG. Click OK. Next, while the chart is selected, right click, go to Group and click on Ungroup. Say Yes. Repeat that same process again. So right click, Group, Ungroup. Delete all these extra lines and these dots. Next, go to Insert. Select a line and draw a line for our vertical axis. Let's color this black and increase its weight to one point. Repeat the same thing for horizontal axis. So I'm just going to copy this vertical axis and paste it again. Then go to shape format from rotate. I'm going to rotate this 90 degrees. Place it here like so. Make sure it's extended all the way to the right. We don't need our numbers to be this big. So at this point, we can reduce the font size to something reasonable like 16. Select all of them, align them to right. I'm just going to reposition the first and the last value, then select all the values. Go to shape format from align, distribute them vertically. This will make sure that they are aligned vertically evenly. I'm going to select all of them and place them closer to my axis. Repeat the same process for the horizontal axis. So select all of them, reduce the font size, adjust the first and the last value, then select all the values, go to shape format, align, and this time distribute them horizontally. And I think we are done. So this time we used markings that go on to the one side of the axis. If you want your markings to go across both sides, you can go back to our original chart, double click on vertical axis, go to axis options under tick marks. Instead of selecting outside, select cross for both major and minor tick marks. Do the same thing for our horizontal axis. So under tick mark, select cross for both major and minor tick marks. Then copy your chart, create a new slide and paste special as picture SVG. Ungroup it twice. So I'm pressing Control Shift G on my keyboard. Click yes. Do that one more time. Control Shift G. Delete all these extra shapes and these dots. Reduce the font size for our numbers. Align them properly. Create a line, place it in the center, duplicate it for the horizontal axis, rotate it 90 degrees, place it in the center here, extend it all the way, separate your horizontal and vertical axis by grouping them. 
and we are done. So it's that easy and quick. Next, let's look at some practical examples. So I have a thermometer here where I have used these scale markings. This thermometer is created by using simple shapes like rectangles and a circle here. Then we have this semicircle here. Next, I have created a slider scale for one to seven ratings. This is for checking the level of preference customers or clients have for specific brands. So these are the average ratings. Next, you can use the horizontal markings for something like this, where we are checking level of satisfaction. This is a creative way to show your bar chart. In this example, we take these markings and convert them into a railway track. We just took these markings here and placed a couple of lines on top of it to create this railway line look. So there are quite a few possibilities of how you can use these scale markings. Wherever a precision is important, you can use these scale markings. And one more thing I forgot to mention is these are editable as well. So if you want to color them, you can do that. Let's say you don't want a black color. Just select those markings, go to shape format from shape outlines pick any color and you are good to go so any formatting that can be applied to a line can be applied to these scale markings so it's flexible from formatting point of view as well so this was a short one i hope you give this a try if you found this useful please leave a like and subscribe for future videos and i will catch you next time